the road in Brunswick, Georgia. Not too bad of a drive. One of the better road trips they say they actually made uh, in the course of their season. Neon controls the opening tip. Coastal Georgia with the basketball. That's Kata MacArthur. Check there by Lanier. Sal Wilson. And the rebound to Dorian James. Quickly into the front court. You're going to see that all night. The Osprey really want to push the tempo tonight. Moss to Oscar Berry. James, Lopez, Nate Lateris, transfer from Longwood. Berry for three. Big rebound, James inside. Lanier, rather. Chaz stutters, almost lost the handle. Shot clock down to six. James to the elbow. And Leighton Vion with the rebound. Early moments, no score. Giles, he can score. It's a good strip on the way up. Just a little sloppy from both teams just to get started. Not a lot of structure right now, but first uh, couple possessions of the new season, you know. Their uh, energy's high. They're excited. Well, both coaches love the three. Uh, we know Matt Driscoll's track record on that. Jesse Watkins, same boat for Coastal Georgia. So we're going to see a lot of three-shot attempts. There's one there. Rejected by Lateris. Yep. That's UNF's defense right there. Coach Driscoll likes to teach uh, when you're running at a shooter, you jump before they even get the ball up in the shooting formation. So he had already jumped before he had uh, attempted the shot there, led to the block. Inbounds back to Vion. Through the gate. And Giles coming around that screen, lost his footing. The turnover, first of the night for Coastal Osprey's basketball. It was a pretty good play. They've seen it had a couple times where they're trying to get Giles the ball off the screen. If that's going to be the way, they really look to get him the ball a lot. Moss with MacArthur on him. Strong to the hole. Matt Driscoll says that Moss might be the fastest player baseline to baseline with the basketball that he's ever had. You saw the explosion there for the first bucket of the season. That's saying some lot. We've, there's been some quick guys around here. I played with a couple of them. Dion inside, whistle, and David Felix will be going to the line. First foul tonight on Nate Lateris, his first, team first. It was a nice dribble drive and a pocket pass down low when Dorian James stepped up to help. Uh, really got put in a bad spot there. Bryce Langford waiting to check in, coming in for the shooter, Felix. Big guy, 6'10", 290. High basketball IQ. Coastal's 2-1. They've already had three ball games. Lost to William Carey just the other night. Won their opener against Middle Georgia State and then also beat Dalton in their second game. Lateris, pass Vion, and one. It was just a really strong lane line drive right there by Lateris. Finished through the contact. He just can't, as a defender, you just got to slide and cut that off. Can't let him continue just to drive and bang you that deep. The Terrace converts the three-point effort. 5-2. Off his leading by three. This is DJ Taylor checking in for the first time tonight with the basketball. MacArthur working on Barry. Gets the roll. Moss.
Moss quickly up front. Check there by DJ Taylor. That's his first. Team second. Barry on the inbounds. Down low to James. Over Langford. Jump hook. That's a very good move from Dorian James. I've personally seen his progression. He's gotten so much better just catching the ball, being in control, and making those right-handed jump hooks. Been here a long time as Taylor nearly lost the handle. Giles up and a whistle and a push off on Bryce Langford. And that will be his first. And the team's third. James working on Langford. Three pointer. Chaz Lanier. That was a really good pass from Dorian James again. Had the ISO dribble drive and kicked it out to Chaz for the open three. Giles to the corner. Here comes Oscar Berry quickly to the front court. Cross the handle. Turns the basketball over. Yeah. Here. Out of Melbourne, Australia. Great three point shooter. Eighth all time in field goal percentage from the three point strike in UNF history. Tied for eighth. You know a lot about shooting that three. I know a little bit. Yeah, 39%. That's not bad. It was usually heavily guarded or double teamed, so <laughs> I'm pretty made, proud of 39%. You made a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Langford. Much for James who to contest that. Langford, his first bucket of the night. Mm, that was a nice uh, dribble drop, or drop step move from big the big man Langford down there. Lanier, good look. Vion with the rebound. Yeah, it's a hard pull up jump shot. It's easier just to shoot a floater or try to get all the way for the layup on that one. Switch out, James back on Giles. Giles again for three. Lanier with the rebound. The Terrace over Vion. Can't get it to go, but there's a whistle. F I will be on Leighton Vion. When we come back to the line, we'll go to shoot two. It's 10 6 here in the early. He said his emphasis was going to be culture. Let's bring in players who bind to our culture. And uh, he feels much better about this group, Parker, than what he had on hand last year. Well, that's a big thing. Uh, the locker room camaraderie and the culture of the team. It's a, I mean, you spend so much time with these guys in this locker room throughout the course of the season with all your practices and the travel. So hats off to him for cleaning house and making it right. Well, with Harris with a couple. 12 6. And he goes to 6. Law pass inside intended for length for that goes awry. It's another turnover. UNF basketball. Trent Coleman into the game for the first time tonight. He'll be inbounding to Moss. Also wins to side, Miles, freshman out of Miami Country Day High School. He's got the basketball. Got a little too quick. A couple of sloppy turnovers there. Here, Coach Driscoll would rather see a dribble handoff than a one-handed toss out of bounds. But you just move on to the next right thing, and I know he's telling him to get a defensive stop now. They're really trying to get it inside to Langford. 
Uh, MacArthur looking. Swings it around to Felix. That's Sal Wilson. High off the glass. Rebounded by Moss. Up court quickly. Lanier. Working on MacArthur. Big height advantage there. Can't take advantage of it. Inside. Coleman follows. Langford with a loose ball. Out of bounds. Mariners basketball. And Matt Driscoll in his 15th campaign. The winning his coach in UNF program history. Look at that A Sun record. 127 up, just 101 down. Took the team to the big dance back in 2015. Has won this conference championship, the A Sun Conference, on three occasions in the regular season. Can't believe it's been 15 years already, to be honest. <laughs> Wide open look. Taylor couldn't get it to go. Quickly linear to the front court. Jake Vanderheiden also in the game for the first time tonight. Transfer from Bucknell. And that's John Inzik. Who was rejected behind was Miles quickly to the front court. Both offenses are struggling right now. Taylor couldn't connect. Van Heiden with the rebound. Poked away. Back comes Coastal Georgia. All the way to the rack goes Sal Wilson. And it's a 12 to 8 Osprey lead. Good look for Miles. He connects. For three. Oh, that's a big shot. Coleman, rather. Frank Coleman connecting there. Three-pointer for him. The lead goes to seven. Langford over Vanderheiden. Three-pointer on the way. And Smith couldn't get it to go down. Oscar back into the game for the Osprey and checking in for the first time tonight, Jeremiah Camara for the Mariners. So we have Smith, Vanderheiden, Barry, Coleman, and Miles on the floor for the Osprey. Wilson, quickly, pass Vanderheiden. Nice left hand. Yeah. Coaster doing a good job of getting out in transition, which is what UNF wants to do. But with all the missed baskets, it's been easy for Coaster to get out in transition. Better heading back to Miles. And the 6'6 freshman will go to the line for the first time in his Division I career. Afraid he's just a shy away from directing traffic out there a little bit. And obviously, being able to run an offense through him or around him is a big advantage for Jesse Watkins. So I'd like to get him into the flow of the opportunity they can. Miles misses his first, he gets another. Third team All State at a Miami Country Day. This is Giles working on Oscar Barry. Knocked away by Vanderheiden, scooped up there by Miles and UNF's basketball. They'll go the other way and really haven't been able to get out in space. Just that George doing a good job of containing. Coleman will go to the line. I really think both defenses have started off playing tougher and better than both offenses so far. Can't really get out in transition and uh, making it tough on both teams at the rim. So both defenses so far are starting strong. Coleman connects. Out of Ridgeland, Mississippi. Played a couple of years at Southwest Mississippi Community College. Played for legendary 
Mississippi coach down there, Richard DeReese. Perry with the rebound. Three on the way. Coleman runs down the loose ball and will reset. Miles. Working on Wilson. Now Jalen Smith has it stolen away by Wilson. Take it into the body of Jake Vanderheiden, and he will go to the line and shoot two. First foul on Jake, it was the team's fourth. So Wilson to the line. Averaging 15 a game in the early going here for Post of Georgia. Good looking player. I like his game. He's been aggressive to the rim a few times. And uh, definitely when Coastal Georgia gets out in transition, all of their players have done a good job of attacking the rim. Came in from Lenore Ryan, G2 school. Transferred in along with Caden McCarthy. It's been a really good addition for Jesse Watkins. Two point game. This is Smith. 5 11 freshman working against the big man, Lanier. Vanderheiden connects the left hander. Hit 41% at Bucknell of his threes. And connects here. Yeah. It was a beautiful uh, drive by Chaz Lanier. Drew the help defense and wide open in the corner. Taylor on, inside. Camara. Lanier with the rebound and back come the Osprey. Barry quickly to the forecourt. Vanderheiden again. He'll try another. Back to back threes for Jake Vanderheiden. And it's an eight point Osprey lead. And that was a nice move off the dribble. I really think uh, Langford's going to have a hard time defending that tonight if he can keep that up. Whistle away from the ball. Jalen Smith is called for the foul. That's his first. Checking back into Mitri Moss for the Osprey and Leighton Vion for Coastal Georgia. Just the 13 foul on UNF. MacArthur on the inbounds to Giles, who's been very quiet. Tough shot. Dorian James providing the defense there. Yep. James with the basketball. Back to Moss. Got hooked. Seventeen foul, so we're gonna go to the line to shoot the bonus here at the 924 mark. And we talked about it. Moss is too quick and they keep getting behind from the ball screens and trailing them. If Coastal Georgia has any chance, they gotta go under the ball screen and try to beat Moss to the spot and keep him in front of him. Taylor's back in. Moss can't get the first to go down. Camara with the rebound. Here comes Taylor. Moss. Team foul number four. Wilson with the scoop. That can't go down. Kamara with the rebound. Knocked away. Off his hip. And it will be Osprey basketball. 9.07 remaining. First half. 22-14. Your score. John Walls with Parker Smith. It's the Season opener for UNF. Moss lost his balance. 
Three on the way. James well off. Beyond to the front court. Giles to Wilson. Check there by Vanderheiden. Back to Giles. Shot clock down to 10. Step back. And he is yet to connect. Had a rough night the other night against William Carey, did Nick Giles. And the shooting well is continuing here early. Lanier for three. Vion will clean up that loose boy. The Ospreys have done a good job of defending Giles. I think the length has messed up with him. He hasn't had any open shots or clear shots either tonight. Wilson dribbles that ball off his heel, out of bounds. Back to UNF. For the first time tonight, we're seeing Aaron Daniels, the 5'11 senior for Coastal Georgia. And Nate Lateris back in for UNF. Lanier to Moss. Down low to James. Big height advantage there. Daniels at 5'11. Dorian James at 6'7. Taft and early going. Both teams, Parker, still trying to get settled a little bit, I think, offensively speaking. Nobody's really shooting the basketball that well. That's fine. Not yet. Uh, the Ospreys are doing a good job of defending the three-point line. Coastal Georgia currently is 0 for 5. And then I think all of Coastal's success has come in transition. And UNF still trying to find themselves on the offensive end. James at the line. Connects with both. He has four points. And the lead goes to double figures for the first time tonight. Yep. Osprey showing a little bit of his own. Langford can't connect. Chaz Lanier. Checked by Vion to La Terrace. Back to Lanier. La Terrace from behind the line. The Osprey's now 4 of 11. Mm -hmm. And shooting threes. Matt Driscoll said he liked to shoot, see him shoot 40 a game this year. All 11 so far. And I don't think he's kidding. Uh, he's not kidding. <laughs> they want to shoot open threes, which most of them tonight have been open. They want open threes and layups. And they'll take the free throws when they can get fouled. But Aaron Daniels for three. Mm -hmm. Walk on last year. 5'11 senior. Moss down low. The terrace over Vion. James got a hand on it. And yeah. it's pulled down by Sal Wilson. That's a tough shot if you have no angle on the backboard. That's a tough shot. And Osprey staying in this uh staying in their zone defense here. Vion for three. Pulled down by Lanier. Oh for six. And three point shooting is Coastal Georgia. Moss pulls up. In and out. Wilson with the rebound. And timeout, Coastal Georgia. Jesse Watkins has seen enough. He wants to reset here at the 551 mark. Lanky and athletic, so they have to play to a certain speed. Otherwise, they're not going to be competitive uh, in, in our own conference this year. Yeah, there's a lot of 6'6", 200 out there. I mean, yes. A lot of body types that look the same. Yeah. A very athletic, and you said long and lean. And that's going to be the style of basketball for the Ospreys this year. And I think, like we said, they're learning about themselves here tonight. But they're going to have to compete in a difficult A-Sun conference. A strong move to the hole yep. there on he got, he got the guy on his back, and all he had was just one spin move layup. It was a really nice feed and nice move. Moss.
Averaged 10 points a game in junior college. Came here from the State College of Florida. Back to a man-to-man now for the Ospreys. Leon, hoo-hoo, yes. Got a little aggressive, did Leighton Vion, and picked up the personal foul. And very quickly into the game for him is David Felix. That's uh, his third. You hate to get one on an offensive foul, but now he's got three fouls. He might sit for the rest of the half. So he can come out and start the second half. The terrace to Coleman. Rank for that on him. The terrace, dish it inside. Coleman in traffic. Turnover. Aaron Daniels with the steal, and back come the Mariners, and they turn it right back over. Good luck for Coleman. Miles runs it down. Miles for three. He can't hit either. Yeah. Ice cold from the field here in the early going. Now Daniels for three. That's uh, back-to-back looks for the Ospreys and a good look for Costa there. And nobody really got close. Seven-point game, four minutes to play. First half. Moss quickly to the hole, and David Felix was there to pick up the foul. I think he, uh, he got him a little bit with the left hand on the left side there. When we come back, we'll have a couple of free throws in the strike. So both right around 33% from the field, and no doubt that both coaches would like to see those numbers improve here as we continue to play. Right now, Mitra Moss at the line. He'll shoot two. Into the game for the first time tonight, Jamel Giles for Coastal Georgia. One out of two. The lead is eight. Cross court, Daniels to Giles. Still looking for his first points of the night. Langford working on Coleman. Right hand is good. That's a good move. Two dribbles with the left. You know where he wants to go back to the right. The terrace from way out. Mariner basketball. Yeah, Langford's impressive. You know, big guy's got nice touch. Yeah. Right side and left side. Yeah, he's got good handles and he's making good passes. And that was a really good post move. Got bodied up. Nice jump hook and didn't use the glass. Nothing but net. Love the points see on the night. And he's been active on the defensive, and he's got a couple blocks. Wilson inside to Langford, knocked away. Coleman came up with it. Smith to Lateras, back to Jalen Smith. 5'11 freshman. Coleman for three. Trent Coleman. Connects for the Osprey. That's their fifth three-pointer made. Giles inside. Knocked away by Lanier. Wholesale substitutions by both teams. Back in, Caden MacArthur and Jeremiah Camara for Coastal Georgia. And Jake Vanderheiden and Dorian James for the Osprey. Giles working on Smith. Still comes up empty. Smith. Miles with a step back try. Can't connect. Oscar Berry waiting to check back in. Camara. 
Good touch. Just couldn't get it to go down. Miles with the rebound. Lanier in the front court. Down to Vanderheiden. The lefty. That was a nice move, too. Almost identical to what Langford did earlier. Just a nice finish with the left. Sal Wilson, checked by Lanier. Gets the screen, knocked away. Giles has it with 10 on the shot clock. Nice between the defenders and loses his handle. Here comes Lanier to Vanderheiden. That'll get the place going. I really like Vander Hyden's game. He has four tonight. Yeah, he's and can shoot the three. One was off the dribble. He's got a post move off with the left hand. Got an alley oop. Transferred in from Bucknell. Graduate senior. And Caden MacArthur will go to the line with a chance to convert a three point play. Barry back in, Langford back in for Coastal Georgia. Miles will sit for the Osprey, Jamel Giles down for Coastal. 11 point game, 55 seconds to go here in the first half. John Walls with Parker Smith with the UNF Arena. Well, the Osprey taking on Coastal Georgia. And MacArthur makes it a three-point play. Back to 10 goes the lead for UNF. This is where Coach Driscoll likes to go two for one if he can. Well, they're going to get two shots at it, at least, with that miss early in the shot clock. MacArthur up quickly, picked up by Lanier. Four-second difference. Shot to game. Vander Heiden off the alley-oop. That was a good pass by Chaz Lanier. Nice body control by uh, Vanderheiden there to catch it and finish. Giles on Barry. Shot clock off. Giles takes it in. And we go the other way with Chaz Lanier. So it is a flurry at the finish for UNF. The lead balloons to 14, 38, 20. Uh, helps the athletic department here at the. Yeah, there's University. no question that there, there's uh, some motivation behind those games, no doubt. Back to tonight. Dimitri Moss with the ball with the UNF. Second half is underway. Starting with a triple screen. The terrorists cannot connect for the Ospreys. And MacArthur. One there on him. Oscar Berry on Wilson. Back to MacArthur. Materas the hedge. Quickly out. Wilson turns the corner to the floater. James with the rebound. Lanier thought about it. Inside the Lateras. On Wilson. Back to Barry. Strong move to the glass by the Aussie. And he'll go to the line. Picking up the foul is Jeremiah Camara. Yeah, I think it's a good, good possession by the Ospreys there. Settle it down a little bit. And I think they should. They haven't really been just pouring them in from three tonight, but. When Langford is out of the game, I think you got to do a little bit more of an aggressive job at attacking the basket. Oh, Barry, very good shooter. This is the first. Came in from Fairleigh Dickinson. And the careless turnover in the backcourt. Kamara. Overthrowing MacArthur. UNF ball back on the baseline. The 15 point lead it is their largest of the night. 
With a chance to extend it here with another good possession. That's Harris. Checked by Felix. Three pointer. Blocked by Nick Giles. Back to Barry. Wide open look here. That was a really good offensive rebound there by, by Lanier. His first three of the night, and Barry connects and makes it an 18 point lead. A lot of good things happen when you get offensive rebounds. Floater in the paint. Goes down for David Felix. Moss quickly up. That was not an easy floater. He had to throw it way up over Dorian James. Well, Terrace had a clean look. Couldn't get it to go down. Giles now working on him. And Nick Giles is in the scoring column. Yep. That's one thing that'll help you get going if you can get out and transition. Try to get a couple easy baskets. James off the front iron. Sal Wilson on Lanier with the left hand. Lanier coming up with the loose ball, and the Ospreys go the other way with it. James, a little shake inside. Let's Harris. Uh, that's a really nice move by James. Poor rotation on the help side, on the weak side there for Coastal Georgia. You've got to rotate down. But Five points for Nate Letaris, the transfer from Longwood, the only member of this team with NCAA tournament experience. Longwood played in the dance last year. Big South champion. And that's just a word you're going to hear more and more. Transfer. That's right. Transfer from here. Transfer from here. Everybody hitting on one end, Barry down on the other. Yeah, both teams, as we pointed out, are chock full of newcomers. Transfers and freshmen, but... Uh, it's going even, to be everything. even down to the portal level on yeah. NAIA. It's still affecting. Them. Yep. A lot of teams are going to have multiple transfers. Back in the day, you know, you might have one on the team. Now you got roster full of them. Just got to be quicker to build the chemistry. Lanier. Back to James. Leighton Vion on him. Alley oop! To Dorian James from Chaz Lanier. That was a great two-man basketball right there from two of your most veteran guys on the roster. Giles on Moss, tangled up. Jesse Watkins livid on the Coastal Georgia sideline as we took a look at the replay. The alley -oop. He's been on the officials all night just trying to get his team a break, trying to get him to the yeah. line. Well, I don't think he has much of an argument on that one. It was great defense by Moss. Got his hands in there. Jalen Smith back in for North Florida. And back into the game quickly. Jeremiah Kamara for uh, Coastal Georgia. Ospreys back into a 2 3 zone again here. Wilson. Lateros closed that on him. Back into the zone, as Parker pointed out. There's a whistle. Fouls on Chaz Lanier. His first. First team foul here at the second half. And David Felix. Rather, Sal Wilson will go to the line. He'll shoot two. Talking about transfers, UNF really got bitten by that portal bug. They lost four of their top five leading scorers and rebounders of the portal this past year. Oklahoma State, FIU, USF, East Tennessee State. Took away a lot of scoring. Wide open court, linear quickly back. 
That was a really good hustle and a good foul by Chaz Lanier to not let him get the layup off. Sloppy He'll offense. He'll put Sal Wilson back on the line, but careless on that possession for the Ospreys, and Wilson will go again to the line. That'll be the quickest way to get Coastal Georgia back in the game. Some, some sloppy turnovers that lead to fast breaks. Wilson now three for three on the night from the free throw stripe. Takes the lead back to 13. And he remains perfect. Smith, MacArthur applying full court pressure. Vion with the trap. Osprey's cross court. Lanier for three. Just not connected. That's what, they, that's what they wanted. They try to double the ball, speed people up. Tough shot from MacArthur. And there's Kamar to pick up the loose ball. There they go. Trying to, trying to speed the Ospreys up. Barry again for three. Long kick out. He'll get another. And makes some pay. Second three of the second half for Oscar Berry. Uh, wildly enough, both of them coming off offensive rebounds that uh, Coastal Georgia has failed to grab. Out of bounds. Caden MacArthur's back foot caught just a little piece of the line, and the Ospreys will get the basketball when we come back. 15 seconds. Looking for the first win of the season. It won't be the 218th of Matt Driscoll's 14-plus year run here at the university. Winning this all-time coach in school history. We see Ja Enzi in the game for the first time tonight, and a whistle and an offensive foul. And we were talking about Coach Driscoll being here. I mean, this arena has changed so much in those 15 years. The way how we have the John and Jerry Haight section down there and, and, and everything that, is, that has happened here with CSI and everything. It's, a, it's just a, I mean, makes me very proud to be a former player here, the alumni here, the way that the arena looks. It's awesome. And uh, for those, the few of you at home who, who might not be familiar with Parker's resume, I mean, this guy could fill it up. A, an extraordinary three-point shooter. Still has a piece of a few school records and has his name up on a many other sides of that ledger. And uh, just really made a, a, really had a big imprint with where UNF went because Dallas Moore came in right after you, right? Yeah, and, they, won uh, the, they won the, they went to the NCAA tournament. Uh, the year after I left. So. No coincidence there. No, I helped. I, you, 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 know, you built the, the. It's just rung up the ladders. You just climbing the ladder and, you right. know, you're just helping the next generation go a little bit further. Just an outstanding career as Sal Wilson dribbles the basketball off his leg. It will go back to UNF. So they trade turnovers. Jalen Smith to Lateris. Oscar Berry. Kick out. Lateris. Doesn't pull the trigger. Back to Berry. Lindsey. Moss. Jalen Smith, rather, with the three. So Smith connects for the first time tonight from three. And then just a Anil advised early pass trying to get down to rim runner there that uh, Jeremiah Kamara just really wasn't ready for. Got going a little quick. And back come the Ospreys. Smith to Enzi. Down low now to Jake Vanderheiden who had an explosion late in the first half. Six quick ones. Enzi, 
on MacArthur. Rejected by Langford. Vanderheiden for three. He's got the stroke. Uh, if my stat sheet's correct, he hasn't missed a shot from the field yet. Six for six. Good hustle by Jalen Smith. Freshman out of Coe, Florida. Played at West Oaks Academy there. Two-time district player of the year in his high school career. Earned the nickname Ice Bucket J. High school. <laughs> Loose ball. Smith with the turnover. Poked away from behind by Wilson. Right back to Smith. Vander Hyden will save it. He'll step up and take the three. Dion with the rebound. A little bit of a heat check there for Vander Hyden. Just wanted to, just wanted to check it out. Langford inside and the foul on Vander Hyden. That's his second. Third team foul of the second half, and Langford will go to the line to shoot two. He is an 86% free throw shooter so far this season. Just three games, small sample size, but has a good touch for a big man. And puts it on display there. It, it, it doesn't have the prettiest rotation, but, I mean, 86%, hard to, hard to say anything about about the results. He now has 10. A.J. Muller into the game for the first time for the Mariners out of Suwannee, Georgia. Six-foot sophomore. Smith wide open. And on the follow, Trent Coleman. Nobody boxed him out, and Coleman made them pay. Muller. Enzi with the rebound. Barry inside. Coleman working on Vion and Travel is the call. If the Ospreys would have gotten a bucket there, I think, you know, would have really put a dagger in Coastal Georgia. But <clears throat> Drake Coleman just bailed him out because that was a pretty bad shot in transition. And that was a really nice out a tip slam dunk to get the crowd going. Langford, nice pass to Vion. Good vision by the big man. Good cut by Vion. And they're hanging around. 17 points the difference. Coleman loses the handle. Out to Nick Giles. On to Cy Miles. And Giles connects. Jalen Smith. To Miles. Back to Smith. Good luck. Freshman can shoot the ball. Doesn't really elevate much on the shot, but he's too quick, and when he gets wide open, he's been able to knock a few down tonight. Langford, no. Josiah Miles with the rebound. Smith, check there by Giles. Vanderheim, wide open. Jake Vanderheiden connecting on played professionally overseas. And uh, he's got a brother at UNC Wilmington. Got an uncle played college basketball. So hoops run in the family. And right now, Vanderheiden leading the way with 12 points for North Florida. Uh, I've been impressed with his game tonight and have enjoyed watching him play. And uh, I think he's on a big, uh, big contributor for the Ospreys this year. Still working against the zone. Giles knifes in with a flip over his head with a nifty two there. He has six. Josiah yeah. Miles back to Vanderheim. They close out a little quicker. 
Working on Sal Wilson. Needs some help. Enzi strong to the hole. 2,600 points plus in high school. That shows you a little bit about how explosive he can be. Yeah, just blew right by him. Nice, uh, just, just big, strong, physical dribble drop layup by him. Now Langford loses the basketball inside. Vander Heiden with the swipe there. Defend the three and get a shot each time down. I think they called a timeout to run a play here on the uh, baseline out of bounds. Right, Jowls on the inbounds up top to Vion. Vander Heiden got clobbered there and might have picked up the foul. He did. Third foul on Vander Heiden, and now Leighton Vion will go to the line. Well, so far this season, he has hit on 91% of his attempts. Very impressive as a team. They're, you know, they haven't missed from the free throw line tonight. Yeah, they shoot 76%. They have thus far through three plus games. Pretty impressive number as a team. And they've been perfect tonight. The Terrace back in. Dorian James also checking in. Zemos and Lanier will stay put. Moss on Taylor. A couple of quick guards there. Enzi inside. Sweet move to the glass. Just a John Enzi. Just making it look really easy again. Just a couple dribbles into the paint and a nice little reverse mic and layup there. Giles rejected by James. Dorian stepped out of bounds. He tried to get a handle on the basketball. It goes back to Coastal Georgia. There's the block, and you see it just caught a piece of him as he heads out of bounds. Yeah, really good effort. Almost saved it. Just his foot was on the line when he slapped it back in play. Sal Wilson gets a screen from Langford. James pops out on him over the terrace. That won't go. James with a rebound. Once again, picked up by Taylor from 10 feet. So the 5'11 freshman Taylor picks up the personal foul. Dimitri lost, lost rather, to the free throw line. He'll have two. Came to uh, North Florida out of the State College of Florida. Began his career at Seward Community College. Had a career high 22 there as a freshman. And he makes both. Switch inside. Oh, Langford got loose. Enzi with the rebound. Strong player, 6'4", 220. He can score, and he does. Just seems like when he wants to get to the basket, he can get to the basket, no problem. He's done it three times in a row now. Langford again. This time the pull up. Moss with the rebound. Quickly to the front, and Nick Giles will pick that foul up. That'll be the second on Nick Giles. 
Wholesale substitutions into the game for Coastal. A.J. Moeller comes back in. Caden MacArthur back into the game. And Jamal Giles. Three-pointer, Chaz Lanier. And the Ospreys starting to heat up a little from behind the line. A good sign for them, shooting at home. Familiar territory, nice little triple screen again on the baseline. Good to see Chaz Lanier knocking a few in. Well, they've tried 33 tonight. We talked about 40 being a target. Yeah, we got almost eight minutes left. Moss with the rebound, checked in the backcourt by Wilson. Quickly up to Lanier. Over to James. Bucket here will extend the lead out to 30. Moss just blows past Muller, and he'll go to the line to make it a three-point play. Sure. Drawing the foul on that strong move to the basket, and Moss will have a chance to get a uh, double figure so he can convert this. He has nine. Make it ten. Great balance so far, too. There are nine players for North Florida with six or more points tonight. Yeah. Really talented team. Uh, playing a lot of guys, showing a lot of depth, playing fast. Seems like everybody's got a good jump shot on the team, which is what the coach and staff wants. Back into their 2-3 zone here just to make Coastal move the ball around and do something like that. Oscar Berry to Chaz Lanier. Two more. And uh, that's 33 in a row now for the Ospreys on the 33. To, is that right? That's not right. They're not on the 33. Not the, or biggest lead. I'm sorry. That's all right. 18-point scoring run. You had me going there. 18-point scoring run. Biggest lead is now 33. Aaron Daniels brings the ball across the timeline. 6.27 left. The lead is 23 for UNF. Oh, James with the trap. Down went Aaron Daniels, and he drew the foul on Dorian James. Enzi back in, Jalen Smith back in for UNF. Also checking in for Coastal Georgia, number 21. Brandon Ross. Starting to unravel a little bit here for Coastal Georgia. Haven't had too many quality possessions the last five or six minutes. And Coach Watkins has uh, emptied his bench here, too, as Bryson Rowland turns the ball over, and Enzi misses this dunk. Barry tried to save it. Yeah. Little, little man Jalen Smith. He can get up there. He tried to get up there on that one. It's a little, uh, little rush. First, uh, first collegiate dunk of his career. Jeremiah Kamara checking back in for Coastal. The Terrace handed off to Enzi. Strong move. And draws the foul on Jeremiah Kamau. The UNF offense has really separated this game for the last couple minutes, knocking down some threes. Really quality possessions, quality shots there by the Ospreys last few minutes. You know, just field goal percentage. Look at how it's improved here in the second half, hitting about 60% for the field and 44% from three. That's in the second half. Big improvements for the first half. As Lateris hits the first, misses the second, NC will give him a look at three. That's a pretty nice two for one right there. 
He'll be okay with missing the free throw to get it back. A lot of nice uh, three-pointers tonight from offensive rebounds, which, you know, impossible to defend if you're Coastal Georgia. You can't defend a, th a three after an offensive rebound. That was Nicholas Burton inside. Fouled by Oscar Berry. 16th foul. And that will send Burton to the line. Freshman out of Lithonia, Georgia. Coastal located in Brunswick, not too far up the road here from Jacksonville. Just a short trip up 95. To Coleman. And to side Miles. Return for North Florida. And Burton shooting his side. This is the pair inside. James secures the basketball and he'll bring it across the timeline. Smith back to James. Smith rolling on him. Now James got loose and then got fouled. Kamara, the guilty party. That'll put the self being the player that he is and playing to his strengths instead of trying to be trying to do too much like he might have done when he was younger. Well, Dorian last year a 73% free throw shooter connects on the first. And the second. Brandon Rasmussen making an appearance tonight. Number 21 for the Ospreys is James work for the night might be over. The lead to 39. Yeah, what a difference a half makes. Yeah. Beyond. Shut off on the baseline. Back to Daniels. Let's it fly. Rasmussen with the rebound. Pinned in the corner. Gets some help. And back comes Miles. The freshman. To Rasmussen. Had the ball knocked away. Back comes Anthony Ross. Daniels to Vion, off his heel, back to Ross. He'll take it. Well off. NZ, three-pointer on the way. Coleman, back to NZ. Miles, offensive glass, hits it hard, knocked away by Nicholas Burton. Good defense, good help. Osprey's really hard on the offensive glass in the second half. That's contributed to the uh, offensive uh, explosion that we've seen. A lot of second chance opportunities. Now 38 at the half as Coleman gets loose inside. Beat Nicholas Burton to the punch. And drew the foul. That is the 19th foul. So Coleman will go to the line, still shooting the bonus. So shooting foul. Must have called. Because that's 19. We're fouls. looking at two shots. Yeah. The lead goes to 40. With uh, the last media timeout coming up. And uh, I think the Ospreys will just try to get out of here with a nice win and get, be healthy and look to continue this little momentum into the next part of their season. Mm. Smith couldn't get it to go. Ross with the rebound. Young guy out of 
Jacksonville's Atlantic Coastal High School. And Bryson Rowland, good shooter, gets that to fall. Enzi, quickly to the basket, where he's met by Ross. As the Ospreys find themselves in a commanding position over Coastal Georgia Mariners. Ja Enzi has a pair at the line. He now has eight as he tries to join five of the teammates in double figures tonight. Good scoring. Yeah. Great balance. Really good player. Good team. Ross from Roland. Rasmussen on him. Daniels over Enzi. For three. He's made a couple tonight. Good looking jump shot from him. Josiah Miles. One of the newcomers, freshman. Enzi to the hole. He now has 10 points. And now becomes the sixth Ospreys player in double figures. Tell you what, the real productive guy tonight, when you look at the box scores, that won't go down. Vion tries to get it back. Inside. Nicholas Burton with two. On the other end, Rasmussen took a shot. Vanderheiden, I want to talk about for a moment. You know, he's got 18 points. He did it in 12 minutes. Yeah. That's pretty good. He, he's impressive. Yeah. He really liked his game. Doesn't really put himself in a bad position at all. Um, he had two turnovers other than that. I mean, I pretty good really liked his game. Yeah. Very nice jump shot. Nice dribble moves. One of his threes was off the dribble. Had a couple moves to the basket. alley -oop. So, you know, really good showing from him. And a couple of the other guys, too. That was Ross, mentioned earlier from Atlantic Coast High School here in Jacksonville. Could not connect on the first. And the bonus, inside of two minutes, Rasmussen, cross court. Miles kicks it back out, Rowan picking off the pass. Inside, Nicholas Burton swatted away by Josiah Miles. And he picks up the foul. Pretty good contact. Yeah, could have easily been a charge there. Went with a no call. And then got the foul on the wrist. Up top. Six five freshman with his second. Well, these two teams met before back in 2016. That was a 117 to 71 Ospreys victory as Jalen Smith shot was tipped in by Trent Coleman, and that is offensive goaltending. So the Ospreys will go to 2 0 in this series between these two schools. Next up, Charleston Southern, road trip there. Just token pressure as we 
Creep under the one minute mark. Daniels, Enzi, still playing hard. Tough shot there, Rasmussen gets a handle on it. To Stonebiles on the breakaway. Two more. Out of bounds, Nicholas Burton couldn't handle it as he went to the hole instead. So it'll be North Florida basketball. Brandon Rasmussen, the inbounds to Smith. Full court pressure. Miles will back it out to Smith. And that should do it. Well, see if they take a shot clock violation or shoot it at the last second. Half with second a, difference between the two. Yeah, with the new 30-second shot clock rule here in college basketball. So they'll take the shot clock violation with actually four-tenths of a second remaining. And after that, this one will be in the books. That'll do it. 92 55.